Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our day number 70. We are in the process of learning. We are in the process of learning how to multiply, how to multiply algebraic expressions. That's what we've been doing from day 51 to 75. Today is our day number 70. We have five more days to go. We are learning how to multiply algebraic expressions. Here's the problem for today. Here's the problem for today. We are asked to multiply together. Multiply together. Two fifth p cubed q squared and ten p squared q to the third minus five halves minus five half p to the q squared plus twenty five over two q. There you go. We are asked to multiply these two expressions together which is what we are doing right now, learning how to multiply algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions. I don't know why I have this big pencil and I can't help it. I have to use it, point it all the time. I don't know where I bought the bloody thing. So here is the, here is the second expression here, which has three terms. The first term is 10 p squared q cubed minus 5 over 2 p times q squared, right here, and finally the last one, positive 25 over 2 q. And we are asked to multiply that expression by this first expression which only has one term. And we are supposed to, we are supposed to multiply them, so let's do it. 2 to the fifth, oh, sorry, 2, 2 over fifth, p, p cubed q squared times 10 p squared q cubed minus 5 over 2 p q squared plus 25 over 2 25 over 2 q So this expression has three terms as we said this expression has three terms, this expression has only one term, so it is like asking somebody to solve for, asking somebody to multiply, asking somebody to multiply a times x plus y plus z. Except in this case, this entire thing is your a. Our x is this guy. Our y is negative, negative 5 over 2 times, negative 5 over 2 p times q squared, that's your y. And our z is 5 over 2 q, that's our z. Right here. So what we have to do now is to distribute. This is how it's, uh, this is how we speak. We have to distribute this this term, this in this case a, over this expression. Distribute a over this expression. That's how we, that's how we speak, which gives us a times x plus a times y plus a times z, which is exactly what we're going to have to do here. This terms times this terms plus this terms times second term and then this term again by the times the third term. Let's do it, okay? So this guy times this guy that gives us 5 over 2 p cubed q squared times 10 p squared q cubed then plus again that guy just line them up here plus same guy again 5 over 2 p 
pq of q squared times the second term, negative 5 over 2 p times q squared, and then plus again the same term, 2 fifth p cubed q squared times 25 over 2 q. And now all we have to do is simplify it and that's all. I need the room, I need to continue, so I'm going to continue on the top. We don't need this anymore. So that's where these three things came, came from. This guy right here, this times this, is this right here. This entire thing right here. And then this term times this term is what you see here in the blue. And then finally, we had the last term, which is this term right here, times this one, which is right here. So let's do it out. So here we have 5 over 2, 5 over 2, 5 over 2, 5 over 2 times 10. Times 10. Well times 10 is same as writing is same as writing 10 over 1. It doesn't change anything. And then all you do is simplify it. 2 goes into 10 5 times, so it's just 25. And we can do the same thing here, we can show the same thing here. This 10, we don't have to do it separately, we could have done it here. This 10 is same as 10 over 1. This 10 is going to cancel out with this 2, and it becomes 5. So we get 5 times 5, which is 25 right there. So that's the coefficient of the first term, 25. Then we have p cubed times p squared. p cubed times p squared is p to the fifth. Then we have q squared times q to the third. q squared times q to the third is going to give us q to the fifth. That takes care of, that takes care of the first term. And the second term here we have a positive and here we have a negative. Positive times negative is negative. And then this is 5 half and this is 5 half. This is weird. Something must have gone wrong. This is not 5 half. Something has gone wrong drastically. This is the 2 half. The first term is 2 half. This should have been 2 halves. 2 over 5. I'm going to have to go back and fix it. This is 2 over 5. This is 2 over 5, which means that 2 will not cancel. This 10 will remain 10. This is, this is 2 over 5. This is 2 over 5. The reason I caught myself at this point, at this juncture, I caught myself because I was getting 5 over 2 times 5 over 2, and I wouldn't make a problem where Give something give you 5 over 2 times 5 over 2. I mean, I could, but I mean, this will be boring as hell. It'll be more interesting if we had 5 over 2 times 2 over 5, or the other way around. It's more interesting because then you go, then you can go, watch here too. I'll tell you what we go. Then you can go bam, 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 bam. And I was missing my bam, 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 bam. That's how I caught myself. So this is 2 over 5, this is 2 over 5, and this is 2 over 5. So we have to start our process again, and that's a 10. So let's start again. That, that is not 25. We'll find out what that is in a second. So here we go. This 5 is going to cancel out with this 10 two times, and we get 2 times 2, which is 4. 
the rest is not going to change. P cubed times P squared is still P raised to fifth, and Q squared times Q cubed is still Q raised to five. And then when we get to the second part, we already know what the answer is. The answer is bam, 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 bam. Here we go, two fifth times five halves. And it's just gonna, everything is gonna cancel out. There you go, bam, bam, and bam, bam. Everything cancels out, so what are we left with? What coefficient, what coefficient does the second term have? Everything cancels out, does it mean it has a coefficient of zero? Of course not. Couldn't possibly have a, couldn't possibly have a coefficient of zero, because if it did, it wouldn't exist. Zero times anything is zero. Here, what we're left with is one. So the coefficient here is one, and since the coefficient is one, we don't have to write it. One, one is just one. So it's just, so here we go. We have P cubed, let's do it in a different color. So we have P cubed times P, which gives us P to the fourth, and Q squared times Q squared gives us Q to the fourth. And finally, the last term, which is here we have 5, and here we have 25. This 5 goes into 25 five times, and this 2 is going to cancel out with that 2. So everything cancels out, we are left with just 5, positive 5. And if you like, I can show it to you. I can, we can do the work. We can show this work here. 2 over 5, 2 over 5 times 25 over 25 over 2. 2 over 5 times 25 over 2 is 5 cancels out with 25, and these 2 cancel out. So we're left with just 5. 5, and then what? 5 what? 5 p cubed. There is no p there, so it's just p cubed. And then q squared times q. q squared times q is q cubed. There you go, that's our answer. That's our answer for the problem. Let me make sure that I get the same answer in my notes here. 4 p to the fifth q to the fifth minus p to the fourth q to the fourth plus 5 p cubed q cubed. There you go, that's it. Well, if you have arrived, finally, we are done with these kind of problems. I've been doing it for the last 10 days. They're very tedious. They're very time consuming. But the reason I did a whole bunch of them, 10 of them, I could have just done two. I decided to do a whole bunch of them, 10 of them, to show you that uh, this is something that you have to learn. This is part of learning algebra. It does require patience. It is very tedious. It does require patience and it does require concentration so that you don't muck things up. Muck with an M, not an F. Like I just did here. Inadvertently, I put down here 5 over 2. 5 over 2 times 5 over 2. 5 over 2 times 5 over 2, we would have ended up at 25 over 4. In reality, the coefficient is 1, not 25 over 4. So those are the small things that you can do to get the wrong answer. And of course, you don't get credit for the whole, whole problem. No matter, uh, you 90% of the work is correct, but that 10% that or that 5% where you you know, mess some, some coefficient up, and that's the end of it. The whole problem is wrong. I'll see you tomorrow on day number 71. And as I said, over the next five days, over 71 through 75, we'll multiply algebraic expressions, which is what we are still doing. 51 through 75, this is only 70. 51 through 75, we are multiplying algebraic expression, algebraic expressions. So we are still going to multiply algebraic expression over the next five days, days 71 through 75, but they're going to be algebraic expressions of different nature, where when we multiply them together, we're going to arrive at something what is known as quadratic equation. So we'll do that starting from tomorrow. Okay? I'll see you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye.